If I was a betting man, I'd bet that you're not getting enough potassium. Pretty safe bet, because 97.8% of Americans don't get enough potassium. And potassium is the single most important nutrient to work on getting more of if you have high blood pressure. Getting enough potassium lowers your risk of having high blood pressure by like 62%. Your kidneys also love potassium. The people with the highest potassium diets have a 56% lower risk of a kidney stone compared to the people with the lowest potassium diets. Potassium is also really good for our bones. Yeah, calcium gets all the love. But getting enough potassium reduces risk of osteoporosis by 32%. Common foods that are great sources of potassium include potatoes, bananas, carrots, yogurt, and avocados. And if you're interested in all of the best food sources of potassium, you can find that on my website, Nutrivore.com. Click on nutrients, click on potassium, and there you can learn all of the amazing things potassium does for us, daily values for different demographic groups, and at the bottom is all of the best food sources of potassium. Why not just reach for a supplement? Well, first of all, there's so many other nutrients that are important for improving blood pressure and kidney health and bone health. And food is the easiest, cheapest, and most effective way to make sure you're getting the full range of nutrients that you need. That's what I call Nutrivore. Get it? An herbivore eats plants and a carnivore eats meat and a Nutrivore eats nutrients. But also, potassium supplements can be quite caustic. So that's definitely one to only do under medical supervision. You probably won't overdo a potassium chloride-based salt substitute, since the, the strong flavor kind of prohibits that. But it's, it's still good to be aware that too much potassium chloride can cause bowel lesions. 